Inkbird Carbon Dioxide Detector. So it's carbon dioxide, not carbon monoxide, right? The carbon monoxide is the thing that kills you. The carbon dioxide is the one that suffocates you. This version here is with Wi-Fi, so you can add your phone to it and look at the numbers on your phone. Let's see what comes with it. A manual explains what to do for the app and for the device itself. In here, a USB-C, USB-A power to USB-C to power the device. Now, it will run on its own on the battery. But if you leave the display on, and you're going to see the display on here all day, then it just makes it a day. On one of the sides, it does have a USB-C port. I'm going to show this here how this looks like. A wall mount, holes for this thing to breathe. Holds to breathe, holds to breathe, USB-C. USB-C is the one that doesn't matter what direction you plug it in. Goes in here to charge the device, okay? Now, <clears throat> the buttons are on the top here. To turn it on, we push and hold. And I hope you can see this now. Maybe I have to turn my lights down a little bit. If it's possible, so that you can see better. This may be better in the dark here. Okay, so we have three buttons. In the moment, it's calibrating. The 500 is the default value in here. But it shows the temperature and the humidity. In order to change to Celsius, you just push the plus button once, and then you switch between Celsius here, plus button, and Fahrenheit. Those two you can change to. Humidity is always percent. The CO2 is parts per million, so this shows 500, but it's obviously not true. Um, in order to calibrate the unit, you have to take it outside, so it shows here now 755. In order to calibrate it, you have to take it outside and calibrate it at the fresh air. Fresh air is usually around 440, 400 in that frame, 440 in that kind of frame. Um, the 705 here is already a bad air quality. So uh, good is less than 700. Um, if you do too much, that's obviously not good for you for breathing, right? Let's talk about the minus button. If you um, push it short, nothing happens. If you push it long, the device goes to Wi-Fi mode, Wi-Fi pairing mode, um, to connect to your phone, if you have one. If you push uh, this button here long, it turns the device off. Okay. Now, in order to calibrate this, you would have to push all three at the same time while it's off. The trick is this thing has to be off, right? Off and then all three at the same time and push and hold. All three are on. We are holding. There we see a number. It starts with 200. And then it counts down to zero. And then it's calibrated. Now, you are not supposed to breathe on it. It's supposed to be outside, okay? So that's where we are looking. And once it's done, you have a calibrated device which shows you your air quality in your home. If it's above 700, you need to consider opening your windows and getting fresh air in. If it's above 1500, then it's not very healthy to uh, live in that kind of environment, you should uh, open the windows 
air your place out or you can also buy plants if you have a lot of green plants in your home they will convert the co2 and convert it to oxygen and um, that is a uh, healthier to breathe right so here we need to wait it takes a minute to get to the calibration once calibrated there is not much to tell like if you have it connected to the power that's good then you can leave it on and you can always see what your value is when you have it on the mantle or by your tv standing there you always see your air quality um, if you have it connected to your um, to the app so there is an app in here Oh, there is a barcode where you can download an app and then the app can send you warning messages or you can read the value from your app. That's very well possible. And um, what you also can do, you can manually set it to have a 24 hour recalibration so that it recalibrates after 24 hours. And then after that, every seven days, it calibrates on its own. But that only makes sense if you really air out your house, if during the calibration process the level is low. Making this video unnecessarily long, but this is what it is. This is how long a calibration of the unit takes. This may be good to know if you get one of those. And this one in particular is the one with the Wi-Fi, so where you can connect your app. There are some out there that don't have this little Wi-Fi symbol on here that are not going Wi-Fi. Keep that in mind. There's also a lot of fake units out there that just display wrong stuff and have fake sensors in there or bad sensors. This one seems to work pretty well. I used it in the house as well as outside and those numbers kind of make sense. Just a few more seconds. It's more than 10 seconds. So even if it shows zero, it will do this for a minute. Not a minute, but um, for a while. <coughs> and then after this, it will show what we really have to deal with is, is in this room here, where I do not have windows open anything. I don't know if you can hear the rain hitting the windows outside right and this is what it takes time on this thing uh, you have to monitor of a long time it shows auto calibration is off it goes into this um, 500 default value and it stays on there until it does the first measurement you will see um, the first measurement if it's different from those 500 then you see the first measurement was taken happens in a minute that's what you bring with you is patience if you're interested in this um, I'm not affiliated with this company I just got this off Amazon inkbird is the name inkbird carbon dioxide detector the Wi-Fi is important <laughs> yeah, this is how the cover looks like While you wait, it's maybe time to subscribe. There it goes. So this is the actual value here, 420 ppm. That's actually good. And um, you can show one more thing here. If you want to turn the light off, you do this here. Light off. Light on. That's your most important buttons, right? Light on. So with light off, it lasts a lot longer than it does with light on. Light on and... Uh, Battery power disconnected, it's about a day. If you turn it off, it's way longer. Yeah, so that is the Inkbird carbon dioxide detector. Hope you like this video. Um, subscribe to see more.